So if you tap the F key, you get into what's known as full screen mode. And full screen mode um, is nice because one, it gets rid of all your clutter and your desktop and everything else. But now I can come over here and I can zoom up anywhere and put it anywhere that I want in the window. It also is nice that when I come over here and I want to add space to this image, I want to extend the canvas, I'm going to go to the crop tool and now I can do something like this where I extend the canvas and I can see beyond its borders. If I was just in that window mode, I couldn't. So I always work in this full screen mode. Just tap the F key and you get in here. Tap the return key. I've got more area to work with. So I like that because I'm going to be bending and distorting this image. And if I bend it and distort it and it goes off the canvas, I'll think I don't have anything to work with. When in reality, I do. I want everything to work with. So step one, once you've done your pano, you've collapsed it down to a single layer, um, think about maybe expanding the canvas okay, to give you more working room. Two, I'm going to do that shortcut, Command or Control J, to duplicate it just so you can easily see before and after the distortion. And next, what I'm going to do is I want some sort of reference for my horizon line. Since I do so many landscapes with this, that's really what we need to know. What am I going for? What's the target? And for that, I'm going to turn on my rulers. Command or Control R for rulers will allow you to turn on your rulers. The great thing about the rulers is that if you click and drag on a ruler, you can actually drag out a reference line, okay, a grid line. You'll notice I already have some. If I come over here and I'll go ahead, you can clear those guides. And I'll just do that again. I'm going to come down here. And we'll say that that is a reference line for my um, horizon line. Okay. And now I've got something to use as a reference. So now I'm going to do Edit, Command, or Control T. And the first thing I'm going to do is what you would normally do is use your rotation to try and, you know, fix that. And there's a little bit of a rotation where one end is bigger than another or uh, higher than another. So I'm going to rotate it first. But then I'm going to take advantage of this little feature in Photoshop that's been around for a hundred years. And that is Image Warp. Image Warp, which they also have a Type Warp option for it. But I'm going to come up here and click on Image Warp. And the great thing about Image Warp is it allows you to basically pretend that your image is on a piece of rubber. Okay? Um, I'll undo that one. But, and what I specifically want to do, rather than manually try and fix this, which I could, is up here in the upper left, there's what are called these custom envelopes that you can use to do uh, preset range of distortions. So we're going to go to Arc here. This is another reason why it's nice to be in that full screen mode because that control point right here with the arc, not arch, but arc, is um, off the, uh, my canvas. So it's really good to know that. So I'm going to come over here and you can see that since this is the typical problem that you have with panoramas that are, aren't on a level tripod, is they're going to get this arch either up or down Arch is an automatic fix for our issue here. The nice thing is also, while I'm in here, I can continue to pull out little reference lines here okay, until I get a horizon line that is consistent. So it's just a simple one, and I've already done a rotation. All of these are being done with one transformation. You don't do one, and then another rotate, and then stop, and then do it. So it will do all of these at one point. If you want to continue to uh, manipulate the image, and this will bring up another point here, I don't want to crop, say, the edges. Okay, a really great thing is, and one, I'm going to show you how you can have um, Photoshop manufacture from scratch those edges, but you may just want to do this, which is a little bit simpler. Get out of the custom envelope, one of these envelopes, go back to custom. It holds the same effect that you just did, and yet now you can come up here and fine tune those edges, because oftentimes it's those edges. You'll notice that's really not affecting my horizon line. I can come over here and I can do this little bit of a stretch, which is going to mean that I don't have to um, crop, right? We don't want to, we, we just missed it a little bit. So this ability to extend your file rather than recreate it 
um, sometimes is nice. And you'll notice that you can either um, grab on the edges, the corners, or what would be a Bezier curve. Okay, so you have all of these at your disposal. You can even click in the center and move that around. Okay, so all of these are at your disposal.